Okay, even and odd functions. Even and odd functions both each have their own special types of symmetry. Now, not all functions are going to be either even or odd, but they are just two different types. Let's look at them. Now, looking at even functions, here's an example of an even function. In order for a function to be even, it has to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So if I fold it in half on the y-axis, it looks the same on both sides. And you can see that. If I go through and flip this, let's quickly just, whoops, let's quickly take it over here and flip it. So if I flip it left and right, it's essentially the same graph. That's what makes it an even graph. Now, mathematically, there's a few more things to look at. An even function often has an even degree. It doesn't have to, but it often does. Now, mathematically, if we want to check to see if a function is an even function, we would look at the function is the same as f of negative x. Basically, for every value of x, the y value of the x on the other side of the y of the y axis is going to be the same. So, for if x is 1, if I go down here, I've got a certain y value. If I go to negative 1, I'm going to see the same y value. I can test this. So let's let's test the function down below. We can see the picture that it's an even function, but let's test it mathematically. So what I would do is I would write y equals 2, and in any place I have an x instead of just regular x, I'm going to put a negative x to the power of 4, minus 3, Instead of x, I'm put a negative x to the power of 2, minus 7. Now you can see why uh, it would have to have a positive, or sorry, an even power. Because minus x to the power of 4, any minus to the power of 4 ends up being just an even. Same thing with minus 3. This minus x just becomes x squared minus 7. If you can run this test, and if it doesn't change anything from the original equation, if these two are the exact same equation, so in other words, if I put in a minus x for all the x's and the equation didn't change, it means I must have an even function. Here we have an example of an odd function. Now, an odd function has what we call rotational symmetry. If I rotate it around the origin, rotate it 180 degrees, we end up with the exact same line. Let's take a look at it, at what that looks like. So if I take this copy of it, and if I rotate it 180 degrees, whoops, it ends up being the exact same function. That means we have rotational symmetry. Okay, it has to go a full 180 degrees to be considered an odd function. Now, mathematically, an odd function looks like f of minus x equals minus f of x. So if I take this original function here, this y equals x squared, if I want to check if it is an odd function mathematically, well, I would take my original function, which is x to the power of 5, and instead of x, I'm going to put in a minus x on this side, equals, and then on the outside, on this one over here, I'm going to put a minus, because that's what's up here, and x to the power of 5. Now a minus to an odd power, so a minus to a power of 5 is still going to give me a minus. So I have minus 
x to the power of 5 equals minus x to the power of 5. So this right here mathematically is an odd function. Most of your power functions with an odd power are going to be odd functions. x to the power of 3 is an odd function. x to the power of 7 is an odd function. Most of those are going to work out that way. That is an odd function. So the question is, how do you tell if a function is even or odd? Let's do it algebraically. I mean, you could do it uh, using gra graphically or by drawing it, but let's do it algebraically. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check if it's even. So if it's even, if I swap, I mean, here's my function right there. If I put a minus x in for every x, and then it doesn't change anything in the end, I have an even function. So let's test it. Okay, so if I, my function with respect to minus x equals 2 times, and then I'll put the minus x in here, cubed, minus 4, and I'll put a minus x in here. And we'll do the math on this. A minus x cubed, well, that's going to be a minus x to the power of 3. So we've got a minus 2 x to the power of 3. And we've got a minus over there times a minus, so I got plus 4x. Okay, it did change. It's not the same as my original function. In fact, it's the opposite, uh, opposite signs. So we know that it is not even. All right, well, now that we know it's not even, we're going to check if it's odd. Now, if it's odd, we put a minus x on the input, so the x itself is minus. It's exactly as the same as if we had taken the entire function and times it by a negative. So let's check that one. So if I go minus f of x, that's the same as taking a minus 1 times it by the original function. 2x cubed minus 4x. So multiply those by a negative, I get minus 2x cubed plus 4x. Now I look at that, there you go. Exactly the same. So minus f of x equals, sorry, f of minus x equals minus f of x. So it is 